Item Number SCP-6642 Level 2 Restricted Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class Vlam Risk Class Caution Special Containment Procedures SCP-6642 is housed in a standard humanoid containment cell. Any changes in its appearance should be recorded. Description SCP-6642 is a metamorphic entity of extraterrestrial origin. It is able to take a form similar to that of select species that it views, however, it cannot change its coloration or the size and shape of its eyes. Although it is able to return to previous forms, these forms will often possess distortions. Footnote 1. Likely due to lapses in memory. SCP-6642 possesses six eyes, arranged in an irregular pattern. Testing has shown that it is unable to change the arrangement of said eyes. Its skin remains green in each form, and its hair or fur is black. When SCP-6642 takes the form of an intelligent organism, it will gain an understanding of the languages known by the individual it copied. Known forms taken by SCP-6642 are as follows. An extraterrestrial species possessing six legs and a thin abdominal region. Its head was similar to that of a pelican eel. Homo sapiens. Domestic cats. Interview 6642 0520-21 Interviewed SCP-6642 Interviewer Dr. Sabrina K. Forward Interview was conducted following initial containment of SCP-6642. Begin log. Hello, I'm Dr. K. Do you have a name? No, not really. Most of the things people call me are insults. Oh, uh, alright. Mind if I call you 6642? As good a name as any. With that out of the way, why have I already been arrested? I haven't done anything yet. Yet? Okay, it doesn't matter. Where did you come from? Some planet called... <clears throat> okay, um, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it with these vocal cords. Big volcanic planet. Not really suitable for your species, given your fragility. So, why'd you come here? Same reason I go to every planet. I needed to leave the last one. Turns out I'm wanted by some interplanetary police or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter right now. No one ever comes here, so I'm probably safe. Right. Uh, how do you travel between planets? I usually steal a ship. They don't... usually crash so easily. And how many planets have you been to? Lost count a while ago. Look, it was believable, up until the interplanetary police part. Why did you really come here? How do you know any human language, anyway? SCP-6642 shrugs. I really am seeking safety here. You don't need to believe me. As for the language bit, I don't know. I just learn languages as I take forms. Oh, right, your abilities. Can you show me? I mean, not right now. I'd assume the restraints wouldn't stop you from- No, I'm injured, dumb fuck. I don't really want to make that worse. Didn't you take the form of a human after you crashed? Yeah, and now it hurts to move. End log. Interview 6642-052121 Interviewed SCP-6642 Interviewer Dr. Sabrina K. Begin log. Oh, it's you again. Hi, I have some more questions for you. Eh, I don't really feel like talking today. I'll make this quick. What did your original form look like? I don't know. Can you elaborate on that? It's pretty simple. I've been taking other forms for as long as I can remember. I don't know what I was. That doesn't... bother you? I mean, it does a little bit, but there's no use in worrying about it. Alright then, uh, what- Hey, I have a question for you. Why am I here? You didn't answer me last time. Well, uh, the short answer is that you're not normal. Kind of a shitty reason to imprison someone. It's more complicated than that. I'm sure it is. Look, all you have to say is that my kind isn't welcome here. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Great, thanks. I feel so much better now. End log. 
Interview 6642-052221 Interviewed SCP-6642 Interviewer Dr. Sabrina K. Begin log. Hey, how you doing? Everything hurts. Sorry to hear that. You up for more questions? Sure, I guess. Not like I have anything else to do. Great. First, did you have any family? Are there more of your kind out there? I was... abandoned as a child. So, uh, I don't really know. Do you know why? People tend to dislike me. It is what it is. I can't change it now. Why did you start traveling? As I said, people don't like me. Travel to a new planet, new people, they hate me too, cycle repeats. End log. Interview 6642-052321. Interviewed SCP-6642. Interviewer Dr. Sabrina K. Begin log. Feeling any better today? Not really. It's boring here. Are you the only person that can talk to me? I mean, if you really hate me, we could probably find a replacement. It's not that. No one else has actually said anything to me beyond a hello. Sorry about that. Did you like any of the books I brought you? No. Oh, I could bring you some others if you want. I don't want books. I just want to leave. End log. Incident 6642-01 on May 23rd, 2021, SCP-6642 escaped containment. It was later recovered on June 2nd, 2021 after reports of six-eyed animals surfaced in Traverse City, Michigan. Interview 6642-060221 Interviewed SCP-6642 Interviewer Dr. Sabrina K. Forward Interview was conducted following recontainment. SCP-6642 took a modified humanoid form. Begin log. So, you ran away. Can you really blame me? It sucks here. You could have said something. I'm sure we could have made your life easier. Nobody, Nobody listened. Oh, they... didn't? They all hate me anyway. Where is this coming from? You didn't realize? Everyone hates me. Everyone has always hated me. Why do you think that? Have you seen the way they look at me? Why do you think no one talks to me? This kind of sounds like anxiety. End log. Interview 6642-060421 Interviewed SCP-6642 Interviewer Dr. Sabrina K. Begin log. So, someone else is gonna start talking to you. No. What do you mean, no? You're the only one that doesn't hate me. I really don't think that's true. Well, no one's gonna admit it, but that doesn't mean it's not true. You'll still see me around. Just try to be nice. End log. Social visit 6642-061521 Begin log. So, okay, I can't do this. What? I can't do this. You're driving me insane. I didn't do anything. Oh my god, can you just shut up? Why do you people hate me so much? You're just really fucking annoying, clearly. Can't blame me for your faults. End log. Interview 6642-061621 Interviewed SCP-6642 Interviewer Dr. Sabrina K. Begin log. So, what happened with Dr. Torres? I told you, he hates me just like everyone else. Does this... happen often? SCP-6642 nods. I'd be lying if I said you get used to it. Every time, you think that maybe this one will be different, and it never is. Why don't you hate me yet? Your guess is as good as mine. Look, I'm really sorry this happened. I didn't know. End log. You are viewing an outdated version. Show current document. Item number, SCP-6642. Level 2 Restricted. Containment Class, Euclid. Disruption Class, Vlam. Risk Class, Caution. 
Special Containment Procedures SCP-6642 is housed in a standard humanoid containment cell. Any changes in its appearance should be recorded. Due to the nature of SCP-6642, personnel that interact with it should have a memetic resistance index of 15 or higher. Personnel who begin taking psychiatric medication must be re-screened for memetic resistance. Description: SCP-6642 is a metamorphic entity of extraterrestrial origin. It is able to take a form similar to that of select species that it views, however, it cannot change its coloration or the size and shape of its eyes. Although it is able to return to previous forms, these forms will often possess distortions. SCP-6642 possesses six eyes arranged in an irregular pattern. Testing has shown that it is unable to change the arrangement of these. Its skin remains green in each form, and its hair or fur is black. When SCP-6642 takes the form of an intelligent organism, it will gain an understanding of the languages known by the individual it copied. SCP-6642 possesses a memetic effect that causes severe annoyance in human subjects. Upon subsequent exposures, annoyance will progress towards a general disdain for SCP-6642. Known forms taken by SCP-6642 are as follows. An extraterrestrial species possessing six legs and a thin abdominal region. Its head was similar to that of a pelican eel. Homo sapiens. Domestic cats, white tailed deer, common raccoon, red fox, American black bear, a modified humanoid form taking elements of Homo sapiens, domestic cats, and red foxes. Social visit 6642 08 2321. Begin log. Hey, Dr. K. Uh, something wrong? I... I don't know. Why am I even visiting you at this point? Oh god. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with you. You hate me too, don't you? It's just... you're so fucking aggravating. I thought you were different. Yeah? And that got you nowhere. I'd say I'm sorry, but I don't think I am. End log. Closing statement, it is theorized that Dr. K possessed an inherent resistance to memetic hazards. However, upon beginning to take an SSRI medication, her resistance was weakened. SCP-6642 refused to interact with Foundation staff for 10 days after this visit. That's it for today everyone, thank you so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis Zagrate, Lesby Friends, Scrubversive, and Max Loves Ears. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.